Yeah, that's my sound because yesterday's video, thanks YouTube, you screwed me. Uploaded that video yesterday real quick, fellas. Was going to edit it after me and my daughter got back from the basketball game we went to. And like 20 minutes into this basketball game, I start getting notifications from comments and stuff. I'm like, what the heck? So I look. YouTube made the video public. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how it happened. It's whatever. It's done and over with. Didn't get to add my music in. So, yeah, that's that. Another thing. When do you guys take your Christmas trees down? Not gonna lie, it's starting to annoy me. Man, the lighting is horrible coming through that window with the snow and everything. Switch over to this side. A little bit better. This bad boy's starting to annoy me already. But some people say if you take the Christmas tree down before New Year's, bad luck. Let me know what you guys think. You know it's crazy whenever... <laughs> one of the hardest things you do every day is have to choose which hat you want to wear. I've been really digging this Under Armour one though since I got it for Christmas. But... Still got a couple of Ohio State, a couple Indians hats. Haven't even taken the tags off of them yet. But uh... Yeah man. Gotta cover up that crazy hairdo. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys this real quick Kershaw knife I got for Christmas from my uh, father-in-law. This thing is sweet. Check that out, fellas. It's called a... It's a Kershaw Leak Navy Blue. I love the color on it. Real sharp edge, nice, really nice sharp point on it. But I think I gotta show you guys that real quick. I thought it was a pretty sweet looking knife. I'll, uh, if any of you guys are interested, I'll put a link down in the description. You can uh, check it out for yourself. On the package here, in the package here it says 94, 94.99. That's probably backwards for you guys. I can't tell. But uh, I figured I'd show you that real quick. I thought it was a sweet knife. So I'm running out real quick. I cannot find anything in the house that I want to eat. And, uh, you know, kind of after the holidays and everything, we uh, we kind of went through everything. Sorry, guys. Got to make sure my door's double locked. But uh, check this out. Still got the bed full of leaves. Kind of sucks whenever you can't just, uh, when you can't run and just do it yourself, you know what I'm saying? Heh. I guess I can't start the truck up without the keys. I thought I left them in here, but I guess not. I must have took them back in the house. I'll be got the keys, fellas. <laughs> I need to get a new truck, fellas. This bad boy. <laughs> you guys hear that? Now, in the truck's defense, it hasn't been started since we did the leaf cleanup. So it's been, shoot, a week. And it's in the negatives here. Like, uh, it says like five degrees, six degrees, but the real feel is like negative freaking five, negative six, somewhere around there. As you guys can see, still haven't got the other light put up. I'm definitely moving them up though. They're hanging down about a foot, so. I'm definitely going to move them, but man, look at the difference in the lighting. I mean, going from those couple just up there to being able to have that out here now, it's pretty freaking nice, but I got to get the other one put up and, uh, hey man, let's do a cold start real quick. I almost want to bet money this mower will not start.
Anybody want to take a bet? I'm going to guess with it being as cold as it is, it's not going to start. Oh, that seat is cold. Oh my goodness. The choke don't even want to move. Oh. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. That is the toughest, toughest that's ever been to move. It's not gonna start, I'm telling you. No way. <laughs> guys because no joke I start this thing up whenever it's 30 degrees 35 and it has trouble sometimes at that so <laughs> I knew it wasn't gonna start all right fellas I need to go get something to eat and I gotta pick up some kind of heater I'm gonna put a heater on that engine to warm up that oil and Hopefully I can get it to start at least get it warmed up. I mean, it's been as long as it hasn't been started as long as this truck hasn't. And uh like I said, it's been about a week, so <laughs> I knew somebody says Sean you got fast food I did I got chili I'm not gonna eat the crackers though I won't even be able to probably eat half of that so the doctor said chili's good to go I'm not gonna make a big old pot of chili right now so next best place is Wendy's Chili. I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys how much I can eat. It's uh, probably about a quarter inch from the top. I can't tilt it too far because it'll spill, but you guys can see I got onion and I think cheese in this. So real quick too, while I'm waiting on the chili to cool down, it's burning hot. I, uh, I haven't had a lot of time to watch a lot of YouTube guys up until here recently with the surgery and the season ending. And I recently just found out that uh, the Lawn Care Nut and Stanley Grenadick, if I murdered your last name, Stanley, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if it's Grenadick or... I think it's Grenadick. But uh, anyways, I wanted to congratulate both those guys on hitting 100,000 subscribers. That is freaking awesome, guys. You guys killed it for sure. So congratulations, fellas. I was going to show you about how much I can eat. Let's see if I can tilt the camera up here. I ate probably, I don't know, probably about right there, maybe halfway. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I can get in right now. It's, uh, part of the surgery. It's very restrictive, so I'll save that. That'll be maybe a lunch or dinner tomorrow. 
That's another thing, guys. I save so much money on food now. Oh, yeah. If you're wondering, there's all the... Oh, fun. There's one more. There's the crackers. Didn't touch them. A little bit change of plan, fellas. I was going to run out and see about finding a heater for the garage. and uh, But I think I'm actually going to go look at some trucks. Don't know if I'll buy one, but I'm going to go look. I at least want to kind of get a... Uh, somewhat of a ballpark for a price on what I'm going to spend. and I'm heading down to downtown Ford only because I know they have actually a uh, commercial vehicle lot that's right here on the right hand side. I don't know if I'll be able to get in here with my trailer. I got my trailer on guys. Let me see. I really just want to look at this dump I've seen a few times passing it. All right, fellas, this truck's right around 65000 This freaking thing is sweet, though. I think it'd be a bit of overkill for me right now where I'm at with my business. But uh, I didn't even notice they actually have brand new trucks with plows and salt spreaders as a package. It's a nice truck. I like that. These two here... These two here come as a package deal. This one's right around 45, and this one right here is just right around 40. So, both Western plows, FX4s. Nice freaking trucks, though. They have salt dog spreaders. Looks like they've been using that one. That one's actually got salt in it. This one's still brand spanking new, though. I really like this truck sliding back window. It's a nice freaking truck. That's definitely an option right there. All right, guys, just getting back here to the house. I, uh, I went and looked at some trucks. I uh, actually found a few that were very enticing. Uh, spoke to my brother-in-law. He actually just purchased uh, a brand new F-250 out in Brunswick, Ohio. And uh, he highly recommended his sales guy and told me to talk to him. So went ahead and waited a minute. And uh, I gave him a call. His name's Uriah. He's out in Brunswick, Ohio. And uh, wrong key. So he's looking at what options they have left. What I'm trying to do is I'm actually trying to get an end of the year deal on a 2017 because they're running pretty darn good specials right now to get rid of, you know, the older models. So he's looking at what they have. I did tell him that I needed, I have a few different color options, you know. I either want black, white, or uh, silver. So he's like, he's like, we have them, but I want to make sure, you know, I have what you need, you know, F-250, I think I'm going to go with, you know, obviously full wheel drive so I can put a plow on it, uh, you know, this summer sometime for the fall or for next winter. So uh, he's actually looking at all their options they have available and he's going to get back to me with some numbers. Also, he said they had uh, a few different packages, uh, like a loaded package versus you know, a basic package. And I told him, you know, as long as I got power windows, a radio, and, you know, a backup camera, I'm good to go. So my Joby's, my Joby's actually acting very weird. I'm going to take this Joby stick out here and work on it real quick. All right, fellas. So my Joby, if you guys can tell, it's got a lot of play. And if I tighten this up, it'll go tight, but there's still... A little bit of movement in it so what I found is see that little flathead screw right here it's actually working itself loose it's supposed to be tight up against the bottom there and now it's good to go all you're hearing is the top piece but it's nice and tight again. So 
You can move it all around, get down, hold it out, whatever I need to do. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I'm just waiting back for calls uh, from the dealer to see what options they have available. He did mention when I talked to him, which he didn't have to do, but he's like, hey, between me and you, he's like, uh, you know, once it hits 2018, they really, really want to get rid of the 2017 model. So he's like, may possibly want to wait a little bit. He's like, but he'll give me a ballpark on time, a price right now versus a price if I wait a little bit longer uh, so that I get the best deal, basically. So, as always, guys, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Later.